Hi, boys and girls. Thanks for joining me again today. Uh, last week, we wrote letters to our moms telling them how much we love them because it was Mother's Day. I hope you were able to do that and um, wrote what how much you loved your mom and drew a beautiful picture to go with that and made your mom a really happy, happy day. Well, this week, we're doing something a little bit different. Um, you just read the story, The Sunflower House by Eve Bunting. And um, in that story, they grew sunflowers. They made a little house out of it, didn't they? Big garden. Um, this is the time of year in kindergarten where we would grow our own sunflowers. All the kindergarten classes would grow, grow sunflower, get, get a sunflower seed in a cup and we would grow our own sunflower. And it would be the same kind of sunflower that's in that story, a mammoth sunflower, which is really big. And they can get tall, like taller than me, taller than this room. Um, they can get really, really tall. And some kids in the past have uh, shared pictures of the sunflowers that they've grown. Well, what we're going to do is we are gonna be describing sunflowers. And I have some right here. These are not mammoth sunflowers. These are, I'm not sure what brand they are, but um, a mammoth sunflower is a lot bigger. It's a lot, the circle around and the petals are a lot bigger and a lot taller. Um, but there's a lot of different kinds of sunflowers out there. Um, and what we're gonna do is we are gonna describe a sunflower. Okay, now when you describe something, you are giving details about it. You're saying as much as you can about that thing that you're describing so that the person that's reading your writing gets a mental picture in their, in their head so they can see it almost. So let's look at this sunflower. It's a plant, it grows, we know that. Um, if you look in the middle of the sunflower, it's dark usually dark brown or black. And inside there, there are seeds. Um, this one doesn't have the seeds in there yet because the it has been cut. But um, a lot of people like to eat sunflower seeds. Maybe you've tried sunflower seeds before. Um, maybe you can ask mom or dad to see if you can get some sunflower seeds or taste one. Um, so they, they have the seeds inside here. And uh, around we have yellow petals, a lot of yellow petals, and green leaves, big green leaves. In the mammoth sunflower, they have really big green leaves all around. Very long stem, I think we said that. So that's what we're going to do, is we're going to describe this sunflower, okay? Let me put him back. And the first sentence we're going to say is, um, a sunflower is a plant. And just like we've been doing, I want you to write along with me. Okay, and we're going to sound out the words together today. Um, so you can use a pen, marker, crayon, pencil, whatever you have, and a piece of paper. And we're going to clap out the first sentence. Um, a sunflower is a plant. Okay, so clap it out with me. A sunflower, it's a big word, we're not going to be afraid of that word, is a plant. A sunflower is a plant. Five words. So first word, A. So we start with a capital letter always. Up at the top, left side, A. That's like an easy word. A sunflower. So that's a long word, that's two words put together, sunflower, but it's one long word. So get your hands together, wrap that rubber band around it real tight, and we're gonna stretch out the word sunflower. Ready, here we go, do it with me. Sunflower, sunflower. It's a lot of sounds, get your gum out, we'll do it one more time. Chew it up, mm, get ready to pull it. Sunflower. Sunflower. Okay, we're gonna say the sound slowly together. Two finger space and lowercase. Sunflower. S is right. Lowercase. Now remember, if I'm going too fast for you, 
you remember what to do, just pause it, pause your device, and you can catch up. S uh, uh, you. Sun. N. N. Sun. F. Sun. Full. Sun. Full. right. Sun full ow W Sun full ow er. There is an R but before that R there's an E. You don't hear it. Er. Sunflower. We're not afraid of that big word. We write the sounds down that we hear. Okay, read it back. A sunflower is. Quick and easy. Is. Two sounds. Is. That's one of our sight words that we use a lot. Two finger space though. Lower case. Is. I S is. Is. Okay, read it back with me. A sunflower is A, lowercase, and all the way at the edge. Not a capital, even though I ran out of room, or I'm starting a new line here. This isn't the end of the sentence, so we're not a capital. Just because I go to the next line doesn't mean I start a capital. A sunflower is a plant. Plant. Let's count the whole plant this time. Ready? Hand up. Plant. P -l -a -n -t. Plant. Two finger space. You can probably hear my laundry going in the background. That's okay. Just ignore it. Plant. P. -p, -p. P -l -l. There's an L. Pull, ah, ah, ah. That's right. Plan, mm, n. Plant. It's a T. Always go back to the beginning to see if you remember. So you didn't leave any words out. Okay. A sunflower is a plant. Period. Okay, I gotta give a detail about that. It's a plant, okay? We, we said that it grows. So let's start with the obvious. What color is it? It's yellow. Why don't we say that? It is yellow. Clap it out first. It is yellow. Let's count the words. It is yellow. Three words, easy peasy. It, now that's a sight word. Do you remember how to spell it? Say it out loud. I-T, it. You can sound that one out too. It, two sounds, it. So remember, I'm not going over here. It's a new sentence, but I have room here. So we're gonna give a space and we need a capital I because it's a new sentence. It, I-T, it, that's a quick and easy word. It is, again, two finger space, lower case. It is, what did we say? It is yellow, yellow, and that is a word, wow word, yellow. Do you remember it? Y-E-L-L-O-W spells yellow. Y-E-L-L-O-W spells yellow. Remember that? Yellow. So it is yellow. It's going to go on this side. Y. 
E, L, L, O, W spells yellow. It is yellow, period. Okay, what else can we say? It has seeds. It is tall. There's a lot of details we could say. Um, it is brown in the middle. It has green leaves. But I'm going to do one more. I'm going to say it is tall. Okay, clap it out with me. It is tall. It is tall. It is tall. Three words again. Okay, and the first one is it. That's a quick and easy word. Am I going here or here? You're right here. A new sentence and I still have room. Two finger space, capital I for the new sentence. T. It is. Two finger space. Is. It is tall. Tall. T -t all. I hear the word all in there. T is right. All. Oh, sounds like, oh, there's an A. Tall. L. Two L's. There's that word all hiding inside. It is tall. And I'm going to give it an exclamation point. I wanted to say, it is tall. All right, there's my three sentences. Let's reread back what we wrote together. And then I want you to add another detail to it, okay? So let's read a bit. A sunflower is a plant. It is yellow. It is tall. What else could you say? What else could you say? It has a long stem. It has seeds in the middle. The middle is brown. It has green leaves around it. All around the sides, there's green leaves. Okay, so you think of something else. Add, try to add one more detail. And send it to me if you want, or send it to your teacher. I, I got a lot of them uh, two weeks ago, a lot of stories from two weeks ago. I didn't get the Mother's Day ones, but I did get some from um, uh, when I wrote about the dogs. So that was fun. So send it to me. I would love to see it. And don't forget, I give a picture too, because the picture is a detail also. And draw what you wrote. Okay, have a great week, boys and girls. Love you.